Notion just dropped a brand new feature and it's extremely useful. It's going to change how people use databases in Notion. Let me show you the changes in practice. So here's a quick example database that I've just set up. It's a task manager, as you can see. So in Notion databases, you can set up various different properties. So as an example here, I have this task status property where you can select from a few different options. I've also got a date property and you can also set up various different views. So in this one, we've got the task list and I also have another database view, which is actually a calendar. So it will show your tasks on a calendar. Now, previously you weren't able to add any descriptions to things in databases. So as an example, if I was new to this database, how would I know what urgent actually means. Is it something that needs to be done today or this week? Notion's new update means that you can now add descriptions to database views, properties, and even for individual select options. So this means that you can add the purpose, context, or even usage guidelines for each database view, property, and select option. So let me show you how it works, and I'm gonna explain why this is a game changer for some Notion users. Okay, so here we are back on our task list example. So as I said, we can now add descriptions for the database views, the database properties, and also for individual select options. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that now. So let's start with the database view. So in this example, I've got two different views. We have a task list here and we also have the calendar as you saw. So if you want to add a description for this view, what we can do is actually click on the view like this, select edit view, and you're now going to see this little eye icon appear next to the name. Now this wasn't there previously, but it's something that has recently just been added. So if you click on the little eye icon here, it's going to let you add a description. So this should be descriptive and describe exactly what you're seeing on this view. So I could just say this is all upcoming tasks as an example okay now whenever I hover over this view as you can see the description will come up with it now you can also do the same thing for individual properties so as an example let's add one for this task status property so if I click on the property here select edit property you'll notice again that the little I symbol now appears next to the name of the property so again I can just click on that to add my property description so for this one we could add something like urgency level of the task like this so now that I've added that, as you can see, the little eye symbol is now appearing actually on the property. So if you hover over here, you can then see the description. So I think this is gonna be super useful, particularly for people that use Notion for Teams, as it's just gonna make it easier to understand exactly what you need to fill out in this property. Now, the final thing that you can do is, as I mentioned, you can also add these little descriptions to individual select properties, which I think is gonna be extremely useful. So let me just show you how we can do that. So we're gonna click on this property again and select edit property. And this is where you're gonna see all of the different options options that we've added. Now to add the description for the option, you just want to click on the option itself. So let's go with this urgent option for now. And next to the name of the option, you're then going to see that I symbol. So you can click on there to add your description. So let's add a description for when you would actually want to select urgent. So let's just say that this task needs to be completed today. So that is specifically what I mean by urgent. I'm just gonna add a quick description for the other two as well. So let's just say that due soon is a task that is due in the next two days. And for not urgent, we're gonna add more than three days until deadline. Okay, so let me just add another task into this list. So for this task, I want to select my task status. So here are the options. So maybe I'm new to this database and I don't know what these mean. So I can actually just hover over the options. And as you can see, the description that I've added is now appearing next to it. So I can then easily select the one that is the most relevant. So for this one, let's just say that this one is urgent. It needs to be completed today. This new Notion feature will be particularly useful for people that use Notion for teams or often collaborate with others, as it makes it easy for new team members to understand and use the databases. Collaboration in Notion just became even easier. It's also great for people that create Notion templates as it makes it easy for new users to understand how the databases work. And it's also just useful for people that create complex and advanced workspaces in Notion. So this new update actually just makes Notion databases even easier to use as you have more context for each different view, property, or select option. And that's it. If you want to keep up to date on all of Notion's latest features, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and you can also check out all of my pre-made Notion templates over on my store, including my new second brain template. I'll leave a link in the description box below.